Well, something a lot of people face. One in three Americans have high blood pressure, and new research out this week suggests even the slightest jump could increase your chances of having a stroke. Here to explain the new risk is Dr. Elizabeth Carroll. She's a vascular neurologist with the Texas or the NeuroTexas Institute at St. David's. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell me about this study. Yeah, so this study was actually recently published in the Journal of Neurology, and what the investigators were looking at was patients in the prehypertensive range, is there an associated risk for increased stroke? And they looked at about 19 studies, which included about 800,000 patients, and what they found was that there was an increased relative risk for stroke. So really exciting study. Um, we already know that hypertension or high blood pressure is the number one risk for stroke, but even slight elevations above the normal range still increase your risk for stroke. And you guys kind of call this the gray area? Yeah, it's called the gray area. So normal blood pressure is on your top number less than 120 and on your bottom number less than 180. When you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, that means your top number is above 140 and your low, um, sorry, your lower number mm -hmm. above 90. But there's still this indeterminate range where guidelines don't recommend, you know, that you initiate medical treatment. And so we're not sure, is that patient population at an increased risk for heart disease, stroke, eye disease, and kidney disease? Well, this study really suggests that there could be some increased risk for stroke. So what do you do differently as a doctor? Well, we definitely need more studies to look at interventions in this subgroup of patients to see, you know, does it risk, uh, reduce the risk of stroke. My suggestion to patients at this point would definitely be to do lifestyle modifications. So that would include changing your diet to increase and have more fruits and vegetables, lowering salt intake to less than 1,500 milligrams a day, increasing your exercise regimen or putting yourself into a daily exercise regimen, reducing alcohol intake, and losing weight. So you are basically going to say, listen up, this could be more serious than we yeah, first thought. Definitely. Okay, and so checking your blood pressure, do you need to go to a doctor for this? How accurate are those machines at the pharmacy or at Walmart right. that you stick your arm in and yeah. they tighten up? Are those pretty accurate? Um, they're pretty accurate, but really the best assessment is going to be going in to see your doctor, at least on a yearly basis, to get your blood pressure checked. And then those patients that do have high blood pressure need to have it routinely looked at, oftentimes can keep a blood pressure at home, um, a cop at home to check their own blood pressure and monitor it. But I wish just everybody go in at least for a routine physical with their primary care doctor on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. They call um, high blood pressure the silent killer because often people don't have symptoms or signs from it. So you're not going to know if your blood pressure is starting to elevate without somebody checking it for you. All right, Dr. Carroll, good information for you. Thank you for being here this Thank morning. You. We're going to have this information on our website.